Good evening, Alba. Thank you for being here with us. Alba is, uh, for all the people that you don't know her, maybe she is the deputy mayor of the city of El Prat. The city of El Prat is the city nearby Barcelona where the Greens uh, have been ruling the city since 1979. And for her, it's her third term uh, on duty. And she has a special responsibility that sometimes with the Greens are in uh, in coalition with other parties, like it is the case in, in El Prat. They usually don't don't take it, or it's not very sexy, or it looks like not very sexy. She's in charge, as I say, as uh, human resource uh, management and the economic uh, departments of the city of El Prat. Uh, the budget is around 100 million euro, what is a big number. So I think the the, the first question, Alba, if I may, is. Uh, how is that? How is that? How you handle this important and more now, unfortunately, with the pandemic situation responsibility? Hi, Sergi, and good evening to everyone. Well, I, be, I believe um, it's an important issue, what, I, what I've, I've been doing uh, right now. And, and I, do too, I believe that it's a, it's a green way to manage the, this, uh, this, this uh, short time uh, we, we have managing uh, right now. And by managing less public uh, part of the administration, I have been able to, to prove that always been a, a green way to manage almost everything in, in city councils. As, as you will say, um, it's a shame, but the pandemic has accelerated a process that some had already begun. And those of us who had not uh, begun has been forced to, uh, which is the, the managing in a green way um, all the parts of the, of the administration. I understand that our, um, to, to our way to manage the green economy is, uh, is to consider the economy, the economy that wants to make efficient use uh, of resources while causing less impact on the environment. And, and we can give two examples uh, of they, um, that, that the first one is, is to do the real digital transition. And, and that's, that's my obsession right now. Normally, administrations are not uh, the best example of digital modernization, um, at least in, in Spain. But the pandemic has forced us to go very, very fast with this, uh, with this kind of issues. Um, I, I don't know it's the, if, if it's the correct word, telework. Uh, for, for many years, we have been creating jobs that tended to be um, very, very face to face. And, and the pandemic showed us that we have to be prepared to work um, from from anywhere, or from from any place, and thanks to this, we have experienced the, the reducing uh, for physical supports, like uh, reducing papers elements. And in our case, we have experienced a more reasonable use of time and less duplication of work, less duplication of process, and we have learned about uh, about time management, uh, human resources, and it's not that we work less. So uh, we take less time to, to do the same things. And of course, we, we spend less, we spend uh, less money and less, less things. We, we still need to make some progress in the efficient use of, of energy. And, it, and this is the, the use of energy is the second idea I, I have been working on the last months. Um, that's a second example, the ecological and the, the real ecological transition. Uh, is setting our priorities right now uh, as a local government. Government, We have uh, accelerated our commitments with the citizens to energy generation in, in El Prat, in, in, in our city. Um, we, we want to generate uh, um, energy within our, uh, our main buildings. We have uh, also working hard to make sure that the energy we don't need can be used for the, for the community. And thanks to the pandemic, uh, we noticed that our homes are not adapted to their situation. So, uh, in other terms, we are working on an, on an important investment plan for the energy rehabilitation of our uh, residential buildings, you know, so that our citizens will live more, uh, more comfortably. And I think these two examples require a, a huge investment which uh, not all the, all the councils or the, all the, all the administrations uh, can do, but they also offer us uh, great opportunities and, and a positive return. So, um, as I said, uh, rational use of time, energy and resources, it's, it's, I think it's a political uh, decision we have to take. We have to 
uh, to value. And in our case, we have been reinforced um, by the pandemic. So I think it's it's very important um, this year and, and, and in this important crisis we have uh, we have to face. Thank you, Alba. Uh, Alba, you have mentioned in your uh, nice words and clear words two, two, two main uh, targets, digitalization and energy transition to a, zero, a neutral CO2 uh, local government. It looks like they, they are, you are quite alienated. Let's say you are quite in the path that the European Union is fixing. And now, as you know, there is a big debate. Still, Poland and Hungary have to say, okay, green light. But uh, what are the, 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 the position from a local government like El Prat in front of the budget 21, 27 and the recovery funds uh, that, uh, that they will come? Sooner or later they will come. But uh, how you see it, how, how you think the local government should be involved? What do you think from El Prat? I think local governments uh, have tried to, to manage the pandemic with, uh, with loyalty, with, with high responsibility but also with little information, with, um, in, in case of Spain, with, with few legal possibilities and few resources transferred from the state. But even before the crisis, um, the local councils made face-to-face -face work because we are the first door, the first door where, where citizens know when, when they need assistance of the, of the system. And now we are right in the middle of a new crisis which is causing, um, as in the last crisis from, from 208, um, 2008, uh, excuse me, it, it's, it's causing high unemployment um, and it's been increasing inequalities here in Spain and, and, and also in the rest of, of the world. And the worst thing is, uh, in my opinion, is we don't know how long um, the world economies will have to, to face it, will be affected. As I said, I can only speak for, for the case of Spain because I, I don't know other cases. Um, and I, I know the reality of the question of the competences and the fiscal rules in, in my country. In our, in our case, the local governments have been asking for more autonomy for years in order to, to um, participate for this election in, in, in a balanced way between territories, being in solidarity with other administrations, as, as we always have been, um, because our main objective is to help the citizens of our municipalities with, with special attention to those which, which need more help. Um, in the case of the local governments, uh, we, we need with, with really urgency to be able to use our own money, our, our budget, our savings. Okay? So um, every municipality has been saving from the last years for what is urgent today in my opinion, um, first of all, social care. We need to, we need to, to spend a lot of money uh, with social care, with employment politics, with uh, transport, public transport, of course, with energy and digital transitions, as I said before. We need our central government to be more flexible with, uh, with the conditions and, and with the destination of these savings that we made in most cases, cases by, a, by a really, I think, a really good management of municipality resources. Um, in, our, in our case, you know, the uh, city of El Prat have, been, have about uh, 65,000 inhabitants and an annual budget approximately uh, 100 million euros. Since April, we have increased this budget almost 6 million extraordinary euros to face the pandemic. So we can do it. We won't do it. Um, so uh, now we want to increase the, this autonomy to continue attending our citizens with the collective responsibility, with the territorial solidarity. Uh, I think that this is the main demand of the of the of the city councils of the local governments to to work for the, for a better future for all of us. Thank you, Alba. We have gone from local to Europe, and now my my last question because we don't have we don't want to to, to take you too much time. Uh, today, uh, maybe in the future for sure, uh, is um, next year Barcelona is going to be uh, the capital, the world capital of uh, sustainable uh, food, or sustainable uh, nutrition. Uh, how do you see that? Uh, how is how you see, especially from El Prat, a city who was uh, has been always very defensive of the agricultural land and the agriculture park and their own products, and even once it was a big confrontation with the probably with uh, a casting from Trump, uh, 
that they wanted to put, that you remember very well, even much better than me, casinos in all the agriculture. Like, how do you see this uh, world capital of uh, sustainable food? Well, I think it's important for Barcelona, but, but it's also important for the whole country because it's a, I think it's a recognition of a way of understanding the, the territory and the opportunities it can generate. We need to understand the importance of, of the food system that we have. And, and also it's important, um, this event, to, to find sufficient support at the international level to solve many other problems um, of, of global supply. A correct uh, food policy, in my opinion, can help to solve um, mo mostly of the inequalities to many rural urban territories. Um, will help us to solve the challenges that climate change poses in relation to the agricultural system that we want to promote. Uh, it also can help us to solve the social inequality that millions of people are suffering in less uh, developed uh, countries uh, with uh, constant food crisis, will help us to solve growing health problems uh, that have much to do with the environmental uh, quality of the place where we live. So I think it's a great opportunity to work for a, for a more environmentally sustainable uh, food system, economically realistic food system, and, and of course, more social and ethical food system. And, and it's, it's especially important um, in a place where what the city I represent, you know, um, I personally believe a lot in, in, in this new way uh, of understanding food because uh, our city, El Prat, we have been working on them in the last, I don't know, 20 years maybe, working hard to protect and recover agricultural territory that some people and some political tendencies uh, do not seem to love too much. But uh, I think we win some, some little battles. We achieved to get the institutions to recognize the ecological and economic value. Um, we have an, a very important agricultural park, agricultural field um, that feeds the great city of Barcelona. And, and for us, it's not only represent the possibility of maintaining um, green spaces or in a very dense environment, it also represents the guarantee of maintaining protected, European protected natural areas, maintaining some uh, products of, of uh, high food value, but it's also um, an opportunity for, for the local economy, that the creation of many jobs, and, and it's essential to us, uh, we, which uh, are very grateful from, from all of them. I think so. Thank you, Alba. Thank you very much, Ingrid. Uh, we have no more questions today. And uh, I think uh, for, for today, this is all. The only thing missing is uh, to thank you again and to, to wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, if we don't meet. Much better, I hopefully, hopefully that the 2020 for everything and for everyone. Um, yeah, yeah. As you know, this is an interview in the in the framework of the of the transnational project. City is a, uh, a place of hope, mm -hmm. so we really will count. I hope with your participation in maybe in life, hopefully in life, in next events in Brussels or in other places on Europe. Thank you very much. Okay, it will be a pleasure. Thank you.